Hello, good morning guys. This is Thomas from Stylized Station and today I'm going to be showing you how to sculpt something like this. It's a stylized simple stone block. Um, a lot of people thought this was kind of a daunting topic, surprisingly. Um, so I kind of thought I'd show you my workflow um, and a few other professionals workflow um, in creating objects like this. It's actually very simple, but we use, uh, I personally use a very specific brush set, a stylized brush set which is actually I'm giving to you guys totally free. Uh, it can be downloaded from my Gumroad at gumroad.com slash stylized station. And those are the brushes we're going to be using. Um, I'll have an instruction, uh, instructional video uh, how to do that coming up in just a few seconds. So enjoy, guys. Hope you make something cool with these. Okay, so the first step is to download the free brushes from my Gumroad. I'm assuming you've already done that. They are totally free. Um, they're actually taken from, I believe his name is Michael Vincente or Vincente. Uh, he is a Blizzard, I think, senior um, senior artist. He actually posted them on his Gumroad for free for ZBrush, and uh, another user of the Blender community has um, has altered them for Blender. So. Uh, I'd like to keep it in the spirit of everything being free. I'd like to keep it free to use. So it's on my Gumroad at gumroad.com slash stylized station. I'll put a link in the description. So this is assuming you've downloaded it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into our downloads folders. Uh, let me hop into downloads and let's search for it. It's called orb or something like that. There you go. So this is the, um, this is the pack from my Gumroad. You're gonna take these three one, two, three. The icons, textures, and or brushes dot blend. blend. You can either drag them, or what I do is I just copy them, so control C. And then we're gonna move into the C folder. This is just to get the brushes uh, added on here. C folder, um, users, one, six, four, seven, three. Oh, that's my username for some reason. So whatever this would be your local user. Then app data, roaming, blender foundation, uh, blender, and then whatever your version is going to be. So if you're on 2.79, um, 2.8, whatever. And then config. And here we are. So you can see I've already added them. Uh, you then control V and paste them in here. So you can see the three are already in here. Good to go. Next thing, you're going to hop into Blender. This is actually how to get the sculpting, um, the, uh, sculpting brushes in here. So we're going to go to File. And we're going to Append. As you can see I've already navigated to it naturally. But basically what you want to do is you want to follow the same path, hop back into your config file. So app data, roaming, blender foundation, blender version, whatever config. Uh, then you can see the orb brushes dot blend that you've added in here. Double click it. And then you'll double click on brush. You can see all the brushes that um, you've now added in your config file, but have not been added to blender uh, the brush screen yet. So we're going to press B and we're going to select everything that starts with the A here. These are all um, the new stylized brushes. Perfect and then append from library and you're done. So you can see if we hop into sculpting mode, um, as we select all of these, these stay the same, but up here, the options are different. You can see we've got a big, nice clean list of, I've already done this a few times, that's why I have, I have multiples. Um, I've got a bunch of stylized, uh, super cool brushes that we can use. And I believe there's a few under here as well. They're kind of scattered everywhere and that's kind of the annoying part, but uh, as you get used to it, you'll be able to find them. So that's it. That's how to get the stylized brushes on here for totally free. Uh, the next step is actually sculpting with it. What do I do? So I'm going to show you guys how to make, uh, for the first time, I'm going to show you guys how to make a stylized stone block. Okay, so this is just the main sculpting phase. I've got a simple subdivided um, trapezoid almost shape here. It's just a basic default cube. I shrunk this in um, and then kind of lowered it a bit. So we're going to be sculpting with this. So the first thing we're going to do is let's make sure Dyna topology is on, which is good. I've set the detail size to three pixels, but let's do two. Um, auto smooth is not on, smooth shading is set on. Perfect. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some detail to the rocks. So let's grab, I believe it's under flatten. Or is it under clay? Here we go. So rock detail. We're gonna start holding, um, holding the mouse button down. We're gonna start adding some natural detail to the rocks, which you can see you're going to start populating by holding down variation, very um, variations of control, and then just regular click. You can see it's starting to take like a really nice natural shape, and you can kind of go a little crazy with it, honestly. Now 
And you can also up the strength if you want, but I just like having the extra control. And rotating it a little bit. There we go, that's already giving it a nice, like, natural look. Awesome. So we've kind of got like a stone, a stone look now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of flatten these edges out. So first we're going to use just the basic, um, basic flatten tool in Blender. If you're using ZBrush, you can use the trim dynamic. So let's go ahead and do that. Just going to trace along all these lines here. I'm going to do this nice and quick for you guys, just to show you the quick way of, of sculpting this. Totally missed that side. Great, so that's looking a lot better already. And then we're going to trim the bottom just real quick. And it's okay if you miss. Um, it kind of adds this level of detail that you wouldn't be able to get from, from hard surfacing. So let's do that. And then the last one is here. Awesome, that looks pretty good to me. Flatten this corner in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually kind of uh, exaggerate these edges now that they've kind of been rounded on the edges. Let's take a clay strip here, or it is flatten. I gotta really track these down because they're not organized properly. We're gonna use orb flatten edge here and we're gonna trace over again, but this is gonna give it a harder edge and more of a bevel. Perfect, just like that. Yeah, that looks good. And then the edges. And we're going to add a little more detailing in here as well. Now again, I'd be putting a lot more time and effort into this, but it just is a quick sculpt to show you guys, and we'll might as well do it here too. Actually, that doesn't look great. So, as you can see here, it still looks a little unnatural. What I would do is smooth this, these corners out here, and give it more of a natural, a natural corner. You can use it using this brush if you want, or you can use the other brush. Doesn't really matter. Just smooth out these edges. Okay, we're looking pretty decent. Let's just flatten this whole corner out. Just to give it a little bit of uniqueness. So this edge is a little more worn than the others. Now while I've got this brush out, um, let's add a little bit of ch kind of chipping detail. So maybe on the edge, the edge it's been hit, clipped a couple times. So let's just add a little edge there. We can add something dead center right here. Maybe chip away this corner a little bit. You can see it's been kind of messed with at the bottom. Someone maybe dropped it and knocked a piece off. I'm gonna increase the size a little bit. We'll take a big chunk out of here. And uh, I don't want to go too overboard, so that looks pretty good to me. The next thing we're going to do is let's add some clay detailing to it. So we're going to go to clay tubes right here, select the size, and we're going to start kind of taking out chips inside. So by holding the control button and kind of circling gonna make these like nice little circles and you can see it only takes away a select amount of geometry like that and there you go you can kind of see it starting to chip away so you can kind of mess around this is wherever you want I'm personally just gonna do one here on the corner and I'm gonna chip away a big edge here just like that I'm gonna take all this out of it out 
right here. Maybe on this side we'll do one big one. Trying to give it a more natural shape. You kind of want to just use your use reference images and see what it looks like when pieces chip off. And since there's a piece here, let's go ahead and cut that out. See, that doesn't look too great because it almost looks like too centered to me. So let's make it more here. Let's see if that's less kind of obvious that it's been sculpted in. And I'll flatten this out a little, a little more. Yeah, that looks much better to me. And let's pull this guy out here. Yep, that looks way better. So basically the idea is if it's looking too obvious, it's too centered, too perfect, um, people are going to realize that it's actually not sculpted or that it is sculpted. Great, so that's looking pretty good. I think we're going to have to smooth this out a little bit. Because these edges are supposed to be slightly worn, so I'm just using the smoothing tool, kind of going over it a little bit just to get rid of these. Yeah, that's looking pretty. Just on these kind of parts that are a little too much, or a little too aggressive, like in here, this corner needs to be smoothed because these edges are supposed to be worn down. Yeah, that looks much, much better. This is just the simple smoothing tool, the Blender default one. Okay, awesome. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some cracks. So I believe they're in here. And it doesn't look like it. Or sorry, we're going to add some um, chips or slices into the material. So I think it's in clay. Here we go. So let's add a slash. Let's turn that down to topology. A nice big slash right here. And maybe one or one big one here. And let's start kind of throwing them where we want. We don't want to over overpower the the object with cuts because um, these are kind of individual pieces that need to be um, they kind of need to be far and few between. Eh, that looks good to me. I like it. That looks great, actually. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of we're gonna we're gonna polish up these edges and kind of add final touches to it because this is pretty much done. As you can see, it's really not that hard. I'm gonna smooth this a little bit. Smooth here. Um, so this is pretty much done. Um, it's, it's very, very simple to do. I, I know you guys thought this was going to be complicated, but it's really not. It's just knowing which brushes to use, which layers to add. Um, this is basically going to be a lot of my videos moving forward, just showing how simple things can be, especially making like stylized stuff like this. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add some finishing touches of um, kind of polish. So there is one here somewhere called Orb Extreme Polish. It's under the scrape tool. We're going to drop the radius all the way down. Let's see if this is enough, and we're going to get in there. And we're kind of going to polish out some of these details. Basically, what it's going to do is going to just going to add extra geometry, um, extra geometry in some of these points. But since we have smooth shading on, this actually already looks pretty good. I don't think we're going to need to do this. Yeah, this looks okay to me. Uh, maybe on these edges a little bit. We're going to add some extra polish. You can see it kind of just ups the quality of the the brushes a little bit. If you really want to exaggerate these, you can use other brushes such as fill or um, pinch. You can kind of pinch these corners to make it look a little more um, exaggerated, but I'm not going to need to do that. This is already looking fine to me. And this is a very subtle detail, but it is something that makes a difference in your big render. Um, it's kind of just removing this extra geometry and adding, um, adding super, super fine detail to your sculpts. It's a little larger for this. It's also doing a bit of smoothing as well, which is which is fine. Always welcome. Much, much, much. Oh, that looks so good. 
for this guy. I think I already did this one, but... If there's any other details you really want to bring out, then go ahead and polish them as well. So I'm kind of trying to bring out the cut here and the, the geometry on the sides and adding a little more exaggeration to it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and we're done. Okay, so if you've made it this far to the end, it means you probably enjoyed the video. Uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Make sure to subscribe to Stylized Station for uh, more stuff like this. I've got a lot of stuff coming in the pipeline. I'm going to be doing stylized metal and skin and more Substance Painter stuff because I know you guys really love Substance Painter. So thank you all so much for the support. I hope you guys make something really cool with these new brushes. Um, I know they're totally free, Blender's totally free, so this really doesn't cost you anything at all, which is so awesome. So, thanks again guys, I'll see you in the next video.